Shout outs to all of you guys, Team Ignitions, what's good? What's good? And welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a get ready with my best friend. I'm gonna introduce you. This is Gabby, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so she's gonna be, um, we're gonna be doing like a little get ready with me today. So tell, tell everyone who you are. I'm Gabriella. Um, you can find me on IG. Uh, Gabriella underscore Aiden 19. <laughs> I will um, make sure that I link it down below. Go follow my girl on social media. So she's going to be joining me on a little get ready with me. We're just going to be playing with makeup, just talking, just random talk, whatever comes to mind. And we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Is there any specific look that, you're, that you want to do? Well, you know, spring is coming in. Okay. And we want to, you know, focus a little on bringing that summer breeze into this winter storm. So you want to do color? Yes. Okay. So color it is. It's spring is always about pops of color, freshly glowing skin. Wouldn't you say that? Yes. All right. Sounds good. I am drinking my little mimosa. Salute, salute. This is a, um, a guava mimosa. And we over here, you know, getting lit. Turning, Turning all the way up. All the way up. I mean, not really all the way up because we, we try to be professional to an extent <laughs> here, okay? So we're just gonna, I guess, what are you gonna start off with? Are you gonna start off with your skin, your eyes? I'm gonna start off with my eyes. Okay, same. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, I, just, I guess she's leading the the tutorial. So I'm, I guess I'm just gonna follow along. I'm gonna also prime my eyes. I'm, I'm gonna be using the P. Louise uh, eyeshadow base in rumor number two. What about you? You're using the P. Louise base in rumor number three. All right, I'm gonna take my um, my Sonia Kashuk sponge with a little bit of the base and go ahead and put it on my eye. How do you usually apply your um, P. Louise base? I use a flat brush. Okay. And I go ahead and pat it on. Pack it on, actually. Okay. Um, I just, you know, I find the faster way is just to use a sponge. I, cause I, I honestly, I don't have time. <laughs> Alright, so again, I'm just doing one layer of the primer on my eye. How do you feel about this, this base, Gabby? I feel like it, it, it clinches onto the color really good. So it picks up pigment quick, uh, really nice? Yes, definitely. You know, I had a I have a love um, hate relationship with this product, only because I feel like before I learned how to do it with a sponge, it, it was very difficult to use. Like I just felt like things will pick up, like it, the pro the product will cling onto the actual base. But I learned that it is a wet base, so this is like for full on pigment, and I didn't know that until I started playing with it. So it's always I guess a learning curve with new products. So what are you starting off with? How do you usually do your makeup when you do um, your eyeshadow? So you, you just go into the base and then go right directly into the eyeshadow? Yes, I oh. go directly into eyeshadow because I don't want the primer to dry up and it ends up not holding on to the color. Oh, okay. So that's why I like to go ahead and start off with the shadows. And I usually start with the dark one first. Do you do, so you do dark to light? Yes. Okay. Oh, I see you going bold over there. Yeah, I'm gonna go with some green, some teal. Oh, okay. Some aquas. Oh, okay, okay, girlfriend. Some spring Easter egg looking. Oh, like pastels. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do a pastel look. You know what? I'm gonna definitely do like a lavender for the spring because lavender is so pretty a nice light purple that would look very gorgeous all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and use the huda beauty melted shadows and i'm gonna use this this actual shade is called diamond drip i'm gonna go ahead and use the matte side so it comes with a nice applicator let's see how this bad boy performs Yeah, this is a good call, pastels. I'm gonna just, just take um, a blending brush like this. This is a 217 for MAC. And I'm just gonna go ahead and softly buff out the edges. I'm doing my beautiful eyeshadow turquoise look. 
with Jungle Rock from Wet n Wild. Okay, Wet n Wild, okay. Wet n Wild. Emily over here. So she's using these colors here in this area. Nice okay. Area for this color. This, are you gonna use that? What big peacock energy? Yes, I'm using that actually at the end of my eye. On the outer V? Yeah. Oh, nice. Now, guys, I feel like when you do an eye like this, it always looks crazy in the mm -hmm. beginning, but it always comes through together. But you gotta trust the process. You have to trust the process. Trust that process. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna go into the Mercury Retrograde Palette by Huda Beauty. I'm using the same brand, and this is not a coincidence. I'm just saying. I'm gonna take Off Balance. I'm gonna use a little bit of Off Balance just to get into the crease and softly blend it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put Libra, and I might put just put that on the lid and then use the shimmer shade that's in here to give me that. Okay, I'm gonna take uh, 224 brush, a nice fluffy dome, fluffy brush. I'm just gonna use that with the off balance. That's that like pinky shade in the palette. So I'm still working with the the off balance shade. It is slightly deepening up that lavender shade, that lilac shade actually. Getting in there, turning it a little bit of slightly pink. But it's cute because it's really just giving a little bit of definition to the actual lavender. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the are you Are you done? Yes. Oh my gosh, I have to catch up. My mascara, my lashes to do, my eyebrows. So okay. I'm, still, I'm still in the process. Okay, all right, all right. Like, when you collaborate with somebody, it always like somebody done is faster than someone else. I'm like, oh! It's the perfectionist in me. Wants to make sure that there's no harsh edges. Well, also the way other people do. Everybody does it different. You are right. Absolutely right. I'm mess in Vortex here. And I'm going to go ahead and start giving myself a little bit of dimension. Not too much, because I don't want to take away from the softness of the lavender color. So me and Gabby um, used to work at MAC back in the day, 2012 crew. Um, here in Kings Plaza in Brooklyn and ever since we, we worked together um, we stood friends outside of work and she's been the, the longest work friend that I've had ever in my life so yeah Gabby has been around for a long time <laughs> So that's how we initially met. Oh, sorry guys, I'm blocking the camera. My apologies. Um, yeah, that's how we met, and ever since then, we just we've always held a relationship um, outside of makeup. You know, we obviously love what we do and what we have to offer the beauty community. However, um, friendship is important too. So I've definitely been. She's been there for me through heartache, and I've been there with her through heartache, and. You know, um, and that's how our relationship kept on uh, becoming stronger, wouldn't you think? Like, Definitely. what do you say? You know, it we, has built up throughout its time. Mm -hmm. it's because we've been through, we've been there for each other when it came to, you know, life incidents, real life incidents. And, you know, I think friendship is important in life. That's one thing that is very important to everyone because nobody wants to be alone in this world, you know? And I feel like any kind of relationship is work. Whether it's, you know, co-workers, friendships, you know, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, wife and husband. Any kind of relationship that you can have with someone, it's, it's work, you know. And we've definitely, I think on both ends, for me and her, I can speak on for both of us, that we've both put in that work. And that's why we've been friends for so long. It's, we've been friends for 10 years. That's, that speaks that's volumes, y'all. Speak volumes. So, alright, I'm going to stop blathering. And I'm gonna use that shiny, the shimmery part of the duo, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lid. Now this side has a, oh, 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 okay, oh, oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Come through. Come through. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna, I gotta over exaggerate this a little bit, like. Get in this corner. Get in this corner. Give it to me. Okay. Loving that, guys. I don't know if y'all y'all able to see that. Beautiful. Gabby's a little quiet. She's very focused on her makeup. <laughs> I 
am just applying, you know, how it goes with the liner. Oh, yeah, you have to shh. You have to you can't very talk. focus. Yeah, make you, sure that line goes in, cuts in. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, this light shade is really nice. Like, I'm just over exaggerating my eyelid because the light that it's giving me is lit, y'all. Do y'all see that? Let me stop trying to hide my big old forehead, y'all. I have a big, massive forehead. It's okay. It's Listen. okay. Y'all can make fun of me. It's okay. I got a big ass forehead. I, it is what it is. I I'm on Tyra well. Banks. Grape, and then I'm going to put a lighter shade on top of it uh, in white. And I'm here doing my brows. I'm using Billion Dollar Brow. Their brow kit. Um, and I'm also using Anastasia's brow freeze. Oh my god, I, I, I definitely want to try that. How do you like it? I love it. I yeah. like the way it's giving me the natural look. Like the bushy brow? The bushy brow. We love that. And it's clean. And it's very different than do, the regular uh, brow look. Do you fill in your brow after? I fill in my brow first, uh -huh. and then I put the freeze on top. Ah, uh, okay. Feel everything. Got you. This is Urban Decay's Yayo eyeliner, and it's white. And I'm gonna go right ahead and put on my mink lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Anastasia Brow Freeze in Brow Freeze Brow Styling Gel. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my spoolie, my disgusting spoolie. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and push my brows upwards and then lay them down. Just like how Gabby did it, I'm gonna do it the same way. But I'm actually gonna try to take out a lot of the product that's in my brow already, because I don't want, I actually want the brow to just look super feathery um, without as much product in my brow. So I want it to look super natural, very avant-garde. Yeah, see, I love when my brows look stand up like that. Love that. Ooh, okay. So again, I'm just taking the back of the brush and just pushing the brows upward and out. And then I'll just shape it with the end of the spoolie. Okay, so she's going ahead and about, she's about to apply her lashes. I'm about to apply my lashes. Ow! <laughs> Yeah, Gabby is a lash girl. When I first met her, she wore so many outrageous like lashes. Loved it. Loved it. She was actually the original like influencer for like thick girls um, because people were really like in the mall looking for her. Like, and I was like, hello, you could have been an influencer a long time ago. I know, you know? but having a child and being a mommy at uh -huh. home. I'm sure the ladies can relate. They yes. definitely can relate. I, I, I get it myself, but definitely when we worked together at MAC, she was one of the most stylish, um, thicker girls uh, at the counter and in the store, period. In the mall, period. Like, wherever we went, there was she always got attention because she always changed up her style. She always changed up her hair. She always spoke well. Um, and, she, you know, she made that impact because... You know, she wasn't afraid to go there and step outside the box. And I, that's what I kind of try to remind women that, you know, being a woman is a blessing. It's about evolution. It's about change. It's about, you know, challenging yourself. And, you know, it, it, I, I feel like as a man, even though we can impress, what, like we can be impressioners of women, like we can do the drag, we can put on makeup, but we're never going to look good in makeup. As, as, as a woman, a woman always, just just the way that their eyes are, their skin is, women always win, period. So bow down to all the moms, the single women, all of you ladies out there, shout outs to y'all, y'all win, y'all win. I do this for the fun of makeup and my love for makeup, you know, but you guys, please, don't let, don't let some guy um, try to come over here and tell you that you, they wear makeup better than you because negative and that's coming from a professional okay <laughs> y'all see her y'all see her yes. all right so I I like to color correct first same same what did you prime with 
She used the, this is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I used to love this when I worked at uh, Bobbi Brown. For my skin type, it doesn't give me enough moisture, but this is a great product for smoothing and conditioning the, the actual skin. It has a lot of shea butter in it. It has a lot of antioxidants. It's vitamin enriched, so it does give you that immediately plumped uh, vitality on the skin with that smoothing effect. Is, would you say this is a holy grail for you? Yes, it is. Oh. It's a holy girl for her. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sonia Kashuk sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my corrector. And I am blending it out as well. Corrector is life. I'm not even gonna front y'all. Like, corrector does, if you guys don't know what corrector is, I would look into it because it really helps minimize the amount of product that you lay on the skin. Uh, from the champagne, <laughs> jinx. I'm gonna use my holy grail, my Pat McGrath, uh, number 17. I, I, I would say I'm more of like a 15. You might be able this to use this. You wanna try this one? Yeah, you I can would definitely love to try it. Yeah, try it, cause you know, look look how dark. This is your color. This is my complexion. <laughs> what are you doing with my, my, my foundation? It is what it is, go ahead and try it. If you guys see a difference in color, it's because this foundation is a lot darker than my skin tone, but the concealer really helps with it blending out and really looking like my own skin tone. So I just take a little bit around the face and then I'll start to really melt it into the skin. And with this product, I do not use a sponge because it is a very lightweight uh, formula. And I feel like when you go ahead and use a brush, you really, I'm sorry, a sponge, you um, absorb a lot of product and you're wasting a lot of product like that and this foundation is not cheap you know what I'm saying this foundation is not cheap whatsoever it is an expensive foundation it's only seventy dollars it's almost seventy dollars if it's not already because I bought this foundation last year I don't know I feel like every year um, these companies have like price hikes so I'm not completely sure of the pricing but you guys know what I'm saying so again, I'm just taking a synthetic brush and I am really applying the foundation. I'm gonna start setting under my eyes and under the, and under my parentheses. Okay, my and what, what are you using? Using the Pat, Pat McGrath, McGrath uh -huh. Labs. Okay, she's using a Pat McGrath uh, press setting powder. So what are you thinking? How are you feeling about that? I love the way it sets mm -hmm. the concealing and doesn't show the wrinkles or the fine lines under the eye. And that's that's exactly what I was going to say. I love this product as a finishing product. Not so much to set. I really love that as like a finishing product. So let me tell you, this is a good one to have on hand because it really does blur. Filter for your actual under eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and start bronzing. I am going to take my favorite concealer. This is the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer in Natural Beige. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Just to brighten up, I'm not gonna use so much because again, the corrector really did its job. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Probably gonna take like two streaks and then I'll take a little bit down the nose and right on the sides. <laughs> so she's going ahead and picking up her hair. <laughs> Pick up my hair. Oh, I'm gonna go in. Oh, oh, okay. Go in. The Huda Beauty uh, baking powder in uh, pound cake. I'm gonna go ahead and just set my under eyes with that. Better me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it and then just press the powder right into the skin. Look at that, y'all. Stop it. Stop it. Yes. 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 Like the sun kissed. Okay. Me. Take my sponge and go right into the product. She's using my favorite, favorite um, palette from uh, Natasha Denona, and that is the Tan and the Bronze tan Palette. And bronze you guys know my palette. I've used it on a few in a few videos yeah, on the channel. Palette. So Go ahead and use it. Let me know what you guys... I'm going to go ahead and use that highlighter right there to pop it up. Okay. I hope the camera doesn't pick up my mirror, and I hope it picks up the actual product. And instead of just taking it directly just on the cheek, what I'm going to do is actually marry it 
right into uh, my forehead and my temples. So it's almost giving me a bronze look. What are you doing, Gabs? I'm highlighting. She's highlighting to the gods, y'all. Everywhere I feel like I need to glow. Mm -hmm. We always need to glow, honey. There's no doubt about that. Ooh, okay, okay, blush. Calm down. Let me calm the blush down. Because she's getting a little blush happy. She's getting a little loud. Yeah, you know. But I love blush. Like, blush does it for me. I'm coming for your man. That's what I'm coming for. No, I'm kidding. That's right here. And I'm actually going to take it with my finger. And I'm just going to swirl it. And I'm really just going to place that right at the high uh, points of the face. While this one over here is... She's giving me a mood, a vibe, a whole glowy vibe. Yes, 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 all of that. All, all of that, y'all, all of that. You see, turn that way, catch it. Catch the glow, y'all, catch it, exactly. These lights don't lie, these lights do not lie, okay? Mascara on my bottom lashes. All right, guys, welcome back. So, we... Pretty much finished up the eyes, right? Yeah. You finished up the eyes? Finished up the eyes. Um, I went in, just um, smoked out my bottom lash line with that same crease color. And then um, I just put in a little bit of jewels just to, you know, glam it up a little bit. You know, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, for the lip, I went in with Dervish Lip Liner. And I'm just going to finish it off with my Fenty Gloss in Fenty Glue. I'm on NARS. What's the name of it? Turkish Delight Gloss? Yes, Turkish Delight. We're pretty much done with the look. Um, we are going to hop off a camera and get dressed and then we'll show you guys the final look. So hang on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to thank my special guest, my friend, my best friend, Gabby. Thank you so much for being on my channel today. Oh my gosh. I, I look forward to future collaborations. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And I hope that this, you know, inspires you to, you know, do your YouTube thing. It sure did. She is it very sure much underrated and she's super talented. Go check her out. I will leave her um, descriptions down below. Follow her on her social media and hopefully in her future YouTube channel. So I am signing off. You already know. Thumbs up. Late admission.